What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I thought uh, we might take a look at the new uh, Spyderco 2020 uh, reveal catalog. Um, I watched uh, uh, Slice, well I saw Slicey Dicey's thumbnail, I saw Nick Shabazz's thumbnail and I thought I didn't even know that that came out. So as uh, usual I am late to the game. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm going to go through this. I have seen the first page of it, but I want to go through this uh, organically and, and talk about it a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Uh, this is also the very first time that I have used the screen recording on a, a Mac. So sorry if the audio is a little bit weird or if I'm a little bit clunky. That's just going to be part of it. Um, let's go ahead and click through this uh, and see what is on the first. So this is the page that I have already seen. Um, the Spy Opera. So, okay, so let me take a look here. So this is, yeah, I remember seeing that this was a lockback made in Italy. Okay, interesting. I, You know, I'm, I've never really been the biggest fan of Brown Micarta up until recently. So I'm kind of interested. Does that say M390? Okay, M390, fully flat ground, plain edge. This might be uh, an interesting... Uh, 2.67 inches uh, on the edge length and then overall length is 6.9 inches. So that's going to be an interesting EDC option for a lot of people. Uh, it's got the wire clip on it. That's pretty cool. S uh, some interesting detail in the fasteners there if you look really close. So that's kind of neat. Uh, then we have a Taichung Taiwan <laughs> Pochi. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a super weird looking knife. Um, is it a, uh, what's the lever here in the back? Very interesting. CPM S45 VN. Interested to see the evolution. Well, I, I want to see this uh, being applied to, you know, some tests, uh, you know, relative to S35 VN and, of course, the other super steels out there. Um, that would be interesting. Super tiny little thing. 1.56 inches overall on the edge length and then blade length. Uh, or, well, let's see. Overall length is 4 inches. So this is a teeny tiny little thing. Look at that pocket clip. I don't know what I think about that pocket clip, but okay, you know, whatever. Um, so, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next page. Uh, <laughs> they're like little cows or little dogs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so the Native, native 5 uh, Lightweight in CPM Spy 27, another uh, steel that I'm very interested in. Um, you know, getting some more information on. That's supposed to be Spyderco's new, you know, super cool, new shiny golden blade seal, whatever. Made in the United States, of course. Uh, looks to be the same dimensions as the... I've always liked the uh, the Native 5. I've always been a big fan of it. Um, and I'm... I don't know. You know, after handling the Pair 3 Lightweight, I, I suppose I might be coming around to this size of knife, you know, with FRN scales uh in in certain situations i still just don't like frn but yeah that looks pretty cool i'm i'm curious to see what uh spy 27 will do to the costs of things mule team in cpm spy 27 the mule team always you know has looked like a really really good fixed blade to me um you know sometimes i like just the the blank handle so you can wrap it in whatever paracord you want that's kind of cool um, I don't think the mule team is anything new. So let's go ahead and move on to the next page. The Canis. Okay. That is, uh, that is interesting. Sorry about that. I am not the best, uh, user of the Mac. There we go. Okay. So what on earth is going on with the blade here? Made in Taiwan. So this is a Taichung Taiwan. Looks like we've got the laminate carbon fiber on there. Compression lock. That's interesting. Um, CPM S30V, uh, I mean, see, you know, it's like I always say, S30V is great, but whenever I see Taichung Taiwan, I get excited, like, oh, is it going to be something weird? You know, the, I mean, obviously the, the eye catcher here is the, um, the thing that's going on with a blade. Why is there a chunk missing out of it? Sur surely it's not sharp up there. It's like a, um, it's like a compound well, it's, it's like a swedge. And then there's a big chunk of steel <laughs> right up here. I don't know what that's doing for the blade. Um, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah, there it says carbon fiber G10 laminate. Um, okay, that's interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. The rock jumper, 
Is this new or is it? No, okay. Yeah, it's his reveal. Okay, interesting. Not, I mean, not super interesting. VG10, so it looks like it's going to be a fairly inexpensive blade. Um, all righty. Um, uh, that's meh. The Yo Jumbo for sure is something that I think is super cool, and you will definitely see one of those on this channel. The Yo Jimbo too, uh, I, th I always thought you know was an excellent uh, U.S. Spider Co. And uh, I'm uh, I'm very interested to see um, you know what's going on with this guy. Hopefully, I mean this is S30V G10. It's typical U.S. build. I'm hoping that we see some uh, interesting sprint runs. <laughs> This guy, for sure, 5.1 ounces there on the weight. Look at the blade length, four inches. Uh, overall length is nine and a quarter. Yeah, that is certainly fitting of the uh, name Yojumbo, for sure. Big, big Warncliffe blade. Self-defense, whatever. That'd be a, 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 a just a fun, uh, gigantic knife to EDC. But yeah, I uh, will do my best to get my hands on uh, one of those as soon as I can. Very, very cool. Moving on here, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is uh, Spiderco's new spine whack test. <laughs> I'm joking. I I'm joking. What the heck? Okay, the the sway back. Um, uh, let's get some full titanium. I bet that's Taichung Taiwan. Let's take a look. Yeah, CTS XHP. I can see it right there. Uh, okay, it's bigger than I thought. 3.31 inches on the uh, edge length and blade length 3.5 inches. There it is, made in Taiwan. Um, overall length 8.4 inches. Okay, titanium. It's got a nice look to it. I'm not sure what I think about the blade I, the blade handle coming back like this, but, uh, you know, okay. A nice, uh, it looks to be a nice carry profile for sure. Um, who is the... Uh, does it say who made it? I'm interested to find the uh, maker's name on here, but I'm not seeing where that is. Sorry, guys. This is uh, this is extremely new to me. Um, Mar oh, Marcin uh, Salish. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, that very much looks like uh, his. Uh, this is sure to be super popular. <coughs> Excuse me. This, I mean, it just, with the name Marcin Salish and the build, right? CTS XHP, eight inches overall. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best to get my hand on one of these, uh, get my hands on one of these as well. Uh, I don't know when, guys, but um, yeah, I mean, that's certainly something I'm interested in taking a look at. Um, let's go ahead and go on here. Okay. The Delica 4 lightweight in K390. That is, um, that's a steel that I'm not overly familiar with, but I think that it's been around for a little bit. Uh, typical Delica dimensions. Is this, uh, oh, these are just all K390 models. So the Dragonfly, the Endura 4, uh, the Man Bug. Okay. That's cool. I'd like to see, uh, look up maybe K390's performance relative to VG10, which I believe these knives typically come in so that's uh that's pretty cool not really anything here that i'm super duper interested in i know that these are a lot of very beloved models and actually there's models on here that i have not reviewed yet the dragonfly 2 and the man bug are two knives that i have never reviewed on the channel maybe at some point you know it'd be cool to get my hands on a k390 model i guess we'll just kind of see what happens and moving on here pacific salt 2 in uh, okay. What's the difference between the uh, Pacific salt one and two? Hmm. I never really, um, be interested. I've never really been interested in the salt series. I, I don't really have uh, an issue with, uh, corrosion out here, but it's still something that I think people might be interested in. Uh, and then we have, uh, the bird Harrier two, ATR 13 MOV, uh, you can see blade length and everything like that made in China. Um, it's cool that they've got the stainless steel bodies. I imagine these will be extremely inexpensive. Um, I love that they do uh, the forward choils up here. I don't know why Spyderco insists on doing this awkward angled area right here. Um, but, um, you know, these are kind of neat. Absolutely. That's really all I have to say about those. Sorry. And moving on here, some sprint runs. The, the little, navi little native in S90V, uh, two inches in. This is this is definitely one that I, I really should get my hands on because this is 
everybody's been telling me like, dude, this is like a basically a mini Shaman, right? Um, and yeah, compression lock, you can see it back there. Uh, 2.5 ounces with the laminate carbon fiber. The, uh, oh wait, it doesn't say laminate carbon fiber, it just says carbon fiber. But it looks, it's got that peel ply texturing, so that's what makes me think it's, you know, that's a telltale sign. Um, but this is USA made. Okay, so I'm just being stupid. So maybe this is um, full carbon fiber and it just has the peel ply texturing. Um, so yeah, that's something that I would, um, <clears throat> at least a little native. I don't know if I'm going to go out of my way to get my hands on a uh, an S90V Sprint run, but it is very cool that they put an S90V. I think that's an excellent steal for a, a knife like this, one that you're not going to really beat on. It's just going to be an EDC. Oh, oh, the spy, the uh, native chief in S90V. That's interesting. That's really cool. I bet, um, I bet that'll be fairly popular. Um, that's really cool. I, I did. I enjoyed the native chief very much. I've got a review on this guy. Um, I'm. I don't know. Uh, you know, it, it's a very long, slender blade. It's not a super tough blade, um, but it is certainly a knife that you might be using more readily as a harder use tool, considering the blade length, thickness, and the fact that it is a lockback. But the edge geometry in this guy is super thin, so I'm trying to think of how well S90V will. I don't. I suppose it really doesn't matter. It's a sprint run, right? <laughs> so people are just going to collect them for the most part. It's still interesting, though. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, very cool. Okay, let's see what else is. Ooh, Shaman Sprint Run. Um, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Amateur Hour. Um, Z-Wear. Oh man, that's interesting. But I wish it was a tumbled. I want a tumbled um, Shaman Sprint Run. Uh, I really like the brown micarta. Uh, man, I, they... I wish that... Um, so all we, the only production versions of the Shaman that we have are the S30V, um, uh, you know, satin finish and the S30V uh, uh, DLC coated finish. Um, I wish they would do something with the Shaman where it, it's like an upgrade. You know, like we've got the uh, the um, the Blurple PM2 and the Blurple uh, uh, Manix 2, you know, like a, a, some, some upgrade. I mean, like the, the cost on that is going to be super high. But uh, I don't know that I really care too much about the brown micarta. It looks okay, um, but the Z wear is very, very interesting. These will, these these are basically gone already. You know, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, "Wow, I really want that," then I would suggest be ready for it because these Sprint Shamans, oh my God, they just are they're just gone immediately. What the heck is this Swick Five? Okay, interesting. Kind of looks like a Squall's Gunblade from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> uh, okay, very interesting. Oh, it's US made. That's cool. Uh, you've got a little, you know, it's like a little neck knife option. That's kind of neat. 2.4 inches in edge, edge length. Blade length is 2.73 inches. Overall length is 5.87. G10. Interesting. Okay. And this week six, which uh, is just serrated. Is that the only difference? Oh, they're LC200N. That's interesting. Very cool. LC200N is something that we need to see on continuously more and more and more Spydercos. Let's have some sprint runs in LC200N. Absolutely. I think that would be really cool. Okay. Um, not This isn't really something I'm interested in. The Shaman and Z-War is very cool, but I, I don't know if I'm going to get my hands on one. And okay, that's it. Guys, that was really fun. Um, these are these are the types of uh, recordings that are very very easy to do. Um, I uh, I have a lot of fun doing them, just looking through things organically. Um, if I miss anything, you guys just let me know in the comment section. Um, I'm really crappy at uh, you know doing the screen screen recordings on a Mac and getting the controls right on a Mac. Um, despite how long I've had this computer, it's just um, it's, it's still a learning process for me. So, anyways. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.